Okay, hello and welcome to this video in which basically what I want to do is I want to continue on with the WordPress series and in this particular video what I want to do is I want to show you your options when it comes to uploading custom themes into WordPress. Now in the previous video I showed you how to obviously go and search the WordPress depository to go and find free themes that are available and that you can use on your WordPress installation. However, if you uh, like to tweak and customize and obviously get specific elements or features within your website, you may actually have to go out and purchase uh, a premium WordPress theme or plugin to do that. Quite often as well, what you'll also find uh, is that these premium WordPress themes or plugins are generally quite large because there's a lot of elements and a lot of code that goes with them. So what I have found that I need to do personally uh, is generally upload them via um, FTP or file transfer protocol. Now, of course, what you can do is you can come into your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, and then go to Themes. Then, when you're in the Themes option, then you can select Add New, and you can look at uploading a theme. Now, there are a few WordPress hosts out there that will limit the size of an uplet, upload that you're allowed to do. Uh, obviously, you can try it this route. So, you go, you, you know, you'll navigate, you'll choose the file, you'll select Upload, and it's in a zip format as they're telling you and if it's small enough and your uh, your wordpress hosting does not restrict you from doing that that's this is a fine and probably the easiest way to do that another way that you can do that and i'm going to show you that in a different video is you can go in to your uh, cpanel hosting then you can go to your file manager and then you can upload it via your file manager but in this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i can upload an, an additional theme into my installation of members.broadcastgeeks uh, using ftp or file transfer protocol now the software that we use is a free piece of software it's called filezilla uh, you can also use another version called cyberdoc filezilla uh, as a rule i find quite easy to use the left hand side all you need to remember is my pc the, this is my file structure uh, this is content here the right hand side is going to be my remote server uh, that i connect to now of course what you need to do is you need to obviously enter your details into host username password and all of that good stuff or you can add it in to your file manager or site manager as they call it now i've got it in here in site manager uh obviously what i want to do is select the site that i want and then select connect You'll see here now, uh, let me just make this bigger. You'll see here now that I have now uh, had a lot of files populate here in the bottom right hand corner. And this is my remote website. It's the file structure for broadcastgeeks.com overall as a whole. But inside of here, you'll see an additional folder called members. I want to navigate into here. And before I do that, I want to tell you that there's very little difference from what you see here to get inside members that's because the members is just an additional folder with the rest of wordpress files when i go into members there's a further an additional uh, wordpress installation so it doesn't really matter don't get confused with this step it makes no difference if you go into this wp content uh obviously if it's the root of the domain or if it's in a subdirectory or subdomain look for the folder that your subdirectory subdomain is in navigate under there and you'll see the general wordpress structured files so as i said if you don't have any of that complicated setup once you log in via files what you're actually looking for is the wp content folder double click into that and you'll see you have the option for plugins you have the option for themes option upgrade and upload what i'm going to do is double click into themes and you'll see here the only theme that i have installed is 2017 and again 
this is 2017. So this is where I want to upload my WordPress theme. Now, of course, what I need to do is I need, need to navigate and find my WordPress theme and then obviously upload that. Now, I've navigated to where I have my WordPress theme. Uh, it's optimized press 2.0 that I want to upload. And obviously, you don't want to go down to its, you know the smaller you know section of folders. What you want, let me just show you this. You do not want the zip in this instance. You want it unzipped. And uh, this is optimized press theme. What I want to do is I want to grab this folder and I want to drag it into this white area. Now, of course, what you can do is you can navigate through this file structure, file it here. But I personally find that it's easier to go and navigate direct to the theme and then get to the location where I want the theme and literally drag, drop, and that's it. What you'll actually see here at the bottom is the transfer of files that are actually happening at the moment. Uh, you'll see there's nearly 5,000 files transferring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and come back to you as soon as that's uploaded. Okay, so we're actually coming to completion now. Uh, the final few files are starting to drop in. I see we're down at uh, 54321. And that's actually it. It's now completed uh, and uploaded all of the files. And it's telling me successful transfers 4811. There's zero Q files and there's zero in the field transfers option. Now, if I come back across here and reload the page, you should see that the optimized press theme is now showing. What I want to do is activate the theme. Uh, I believe it will ask me for a license key, which obviously I'm not going to show you this stage. But that's basically the WordPress theme now uploaded into uh, WordPress. What I'll do is I'll pause the video, I'll activate the theme, and I'll come back and show you the themes available. So basically, I have to input an API key uh, into Optimize Press, which I've basically gone now and grabbed the API key. What I'll do is I'll click the green button that says Save Settings, and that should activate Optimize Press and have it available for use in my site. Now, the reason why developers do that is to obviously limit and control who uses their premium themes. Because there's so much advanced and added features with this theme, that's why they've done that. So what it's going to do is it's going to reach out, which is done. Uh, it's obviously accepted the API key. Now I can continue to set the theme up, the blog up, and all of that good stuff. And that's basically a, a premium WordPress theme uploaded into WordPress via FTP or File Transfer Protocol.